As our incredible summer of 2020 uh, continues, uh, uh, once again, we have uh, have cancellations uh, of things going on in our area due to the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, but there's something interesting going on here in the little town of Sharon with the Sharon Playhouse. Uh, and uh, it all is going to start on July 4th. Uh, they're, they're figuring out ways to bring entertainment, uh, uh, to keep you entertained during uh, this pandemic. And uh, with us once again from the Sharon Playhouse, we have both uh, Robert and Alan. Uh, guys, thanks for joining us today. Oh, it is our pleasure, Marshall. Morning, Marshall. So now, uh, let's talk a little bit about, uh, you know, you are, uh, most everybody else has either canceled or done virtual things. What you are planning is something different beginning on July 4th. Let's talk about July 4th, what the plans are for right now. We are planning that, exactly. And we don't like to use the word cancel. We like to use the word postpone. (laughs) So uh, everybody drives by our marquee at the moment and sees that wonderful season that we had set for this year. And it is not canceled. It is postponed to 2021 in its entirety at this point. We are looking forward to bringing that season that everybody was excited about here to Sharon and the you know northwest corner next year. But you're right. We are still planning to do something this summer because, let's face it, we all want somewhere to go and something to do if it is all feasible, you know, with all the guidelines that are out there. Uh, but we want something to do. So we're very excited to announce that we are turning our... A parking lot into a drive-in live theater on Saturday nights. Um, we are also going to be opening our beautiful patio bar as a patio piano bar on Friday nights after shows. I mean, uh, sorry, Friday nights uh, throughout the summer and then Saturday nights after the show. That's it. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> so, so this all kicks off July 4th, and let's talk a little bit about this drive-in theater experience uh, about... You know, how people can attend, how many cars, how many people. Let's, let's go into some of, some of the right now particulars, which might change all depending about what goes on. So currently the plan uh, is to have about 50 to 55 cars in our parking lot. Uh, there will be like a, there will be socially distanced cars. So we're going to have one spot and then six feet away another car and then the six feet another car. And we're working with the, uh, uh, the DECD of Connecticut to see if there is a way to allow our patrons to come out of their car and sit on lawn chairs that they provide themselves um, outside of their vehicle. As long as, and if they're six feet away, we're still trying to figure out the mask. If they have to wear masks, if they're right there. Um, if they leave their car area to go to the concession stand, to the bar, or the restroom, they must wear masks when they're walking around the complex. Uh, but the goal is right. to have 55 cars in a safe manner along our park. Oh. We built a 12 foot by 24 foot stage outside the Bach Gallery, because we're literally thinking outside the Bach. Uh, <laughs> Robert, you're funny. <laughs> I know. So that's where the stage will be, and all the cars are going to be in parking in the same formation that they're used to parking in our lot. We thought it would be a very fun and different way for our patrons to experience the Playhouse, because there's no way in hell that we're going to be dark. <laughs> right now, and, and as Robert mentioned, the cars will be in the lot. Um, and as you mentioned, Marshall, how's it going to work? We're going to have three different sections. Um, everybody must reserve um, either online or by phone because we don't want you know it to be crazy or confusing for anybody. It'll all it all will be very specifically spelled out on the website um, and the Facebook page and things like that. You buy a, you reserve a section. You get there at a allotted time. You have plenty of time to park your car and get into a position. So nobody's racing at the last second to try and you know, race into the parking lot and uh, get to the show five seconds before it starts uh, because of everything that's going on. It just needs to be a little more regulated. And so we're working out all those procedures. And and what we're talking about is you're building your stage. I mean, for the, for the, uh, for the shows that you do, like on July 4th, there's going to be lighting and, and it's, it, it really is going to be oh, al- almost like a theater in the park here in Sharon. Yep, outside theater. Outside theater and drive-in style, so everybody uh, who's my age or, or a little younger knows <laughs> knows knows about drive-ins, especially now that there's a drive-in in Amenia. So, so, so July Fourth is the kickoff date, but then you are planning to have cabarets uh, at at the Playhouse and then other shows like the like the show you're going to do on July Fourth throughout the rest of the summer. You betcha. So, actually, about July Fourth, we are so excited to welcome back by popular demand America's Sweethearts. They were here in the Bach Gallery as one of our Cocktails and Cabaret series, and they were such a hit that how could we do Fourth of July without them? 
Um, they're bringing a patriotic show. We're very excited that that's what's happening at the moment on July 4th. As you mentioned, we're looking into other options. We sure are. We're looking into Broadway style reviews. Um, there's already one on, on the menu. We're looking into possibly a laser show in the parking lot with help from our friends at DNR Labs. Um, who helped us with all the lasers last year in Beauty and the Beast and Joseph. We're looking at jazz bands, comedy, um, film. We're, it's all being worked out now, so um, we're, we're just going to wet your whistle with a few of those things because we want to be able to definitively tell you what we're going to do, um, and that way people you know, can plan accordingly. We're also very excited that since we had to postpone things to next year, that also meant postponing our wonderful local divas. Well, they're putting together a show for us in the uh, drive-in uh, uh, parking lot as well. So we're that one I can tell you. Not sure when, but the Return of the Divas is going to be here as well. And that's on Saturday nights, like we mentioned. Friday nights, the bar will be open. There will be more entertainment on the bar. Piano, think, think an outside piano bar with uh, occasional wonderful acts. We're looking into a, a lot of the local acts who have done a lot of the bar restaurant things in our community, and obviously they can't be working right now, but if we can get them working and bring them to the Playhouse for the enjoyment of the community, we're going to do it. And and what we've worked out with uh, with the Sharon Playhouse is that uh, simply because it's only a certain amount of limited amount of cars that can come after the show, we're, uh, the show's going to be taped and we are going to rebroadcast these shows. Uh, and what we would expect people to do if they can't get in and see the show and they listen to it uh, on the radio, uh, to send in donations, uh, almost like they were buying a ticket to the show, uh, to support the Playhouse because uh, this is a, an important year. You've done some incredible work over the past couple of years and and this summer somehow needs uh, to continue on and not only entertain people but to uh, ensure the survival of what you guys are doing there at the playhouse that's very you're almost making me cry with what you're saying there Mark. well what's, what's true i mean uh, you ask anybody in town anybody in town uh when when the sharon playhouse it's like when the white heart was closed in salisbury salisbury was a different town when the Sharon Playhouse was shut down and not operating, Sharon is a different town, and the whole region is a different town. So I, we really like to, to show how important it is. And no, not everybody is going to be able to get a ticket to every one of these shows. But if you don't, like I said, you'll hear it rebroadcast with us. And then people can just go to their checkbooks and write write out checks and say, hey, thanks for the great show, and, and send a donation in. You know, we, uh, I, thank you so much, Marshall, your support and the town support, and especially the community and our patrons. We, that's, as Robert mentioned a little earlier, we're, you know, we'll be damned if we're not going to do something because we feel we owe it to this community. This community has done so much for us and, at the Playhouse and supported us so wonderfully that we don't want to leave them hanging. We, if we can at all possibly do something to bring a little light, a little joy, into these really weird times we're living in right now, then that's what we want to do. And if we can do it, we're going to, by, by God, we're going to try. All right. And people will be able to get information when, as it becomes available at SharonPlayhouse.org, of course, on your Facebook page, and also, mm -hmm. I would think, uh, in the Lakeville Journal and right here on Robin Hood Radio. Yep. Guys, keep your minds going and keep this going because it sounds like it'll be a fun summer kicking off on July 4th. Thank, Thank you, you Marshall. So much, Marshall.